Hello and welcome to TPN's 3 Minute Thursday. Today I want to introduce the D-Feature tool. Uh, you will find it right up under the Tools menu and D-Feature. And what this tool can be used for is to find uh, internal components, small components, or just components and features that you select and remove them. Now why would you want to do this? Well, if you're wanting to take something like this uh, 200 plus component oil tank and use it in a large assembly, you don't really need all of the internal components, especially all the uh, patterns that you see in the baffles and filters uh, in this particular model. Uh, it'll slow down your large assembly, so we always want to simplify our models as we get up into larger assemblies, and this is what's really great about the D-Feature tool. So uh, internal components are those that are completely uh, non-visible and enclosed by the model. Uh, the small components is a percentage of the bounding box, and then of course selected components here are just those components that it doesn't capture and you can go in and uh, add to the list uh, and remove to the list. So it's very, very easy to, uh, uh, to add and remove what you need here. Uh, this is a wizard based tool, so we just simply next on through it. And uh, in step two is where we can define assembly motion. So we basically uh, reuse mates that we've um, uh, had created in the assembly, and those can get passed along into the resulting part file uh, at the end. We don't have any here, so we'll just uh, next on through. Uh, step three is where we can find uh, features uh, that we want to remove, uh, basically holes is what you really want to find here. So we can select uh, different holes uh, in, in our parts and remove those. Again, we're trying to simplify something. If we were to send this out to uh, suppliers or customers, we would want to remove as much uh, intellectual property information as possible. Holes are, are one of those things that uh, are easily removed. And you just hit next when you're ready. SolidWorks takes the model and processes it. it. takes a few seconds. And in the end here, it's giving us uh, two models that we can uh, work with, the original assembly model and then the uh, finished part model. Last thing here, if you've got anything extra you want to grab, it's always a good time to grab it. And then we'll finish it out by creating a separate part file. And the final result is a part uh, with, in this case, 53 bodies. And our original had over, again, over 200 components. And then lastly, what's really great is that you get a single part model that's under two megabytes in size whereas the entire assembly and its components are 20, uh, 20 plus megs and lots and lots and lots of files to have to deal with. So this is a great data management um, function as well. So that's been TPM's 3 Minute Thursday. We hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.